you you could potentially be dealing with uh, somebody that um, actually it's sort of like the boy who cried wolf. In this situation, is um, I do sense that it is somebody that um, made promises with you in the past and have reneged on their promises. And um, at this point, you're feeling as if you don't really want that type of energy in your life and you don't really want the drama associated with this person, okay? I do feel it is somebody that is emotionally, they're younger than you, so they, they might be your biological age, but I do feel that um, there's a little bit of an emotional mental rift between you and the other person, which is preventing that other person from coming back into your life. In terms of what's coming in here, I have the Hierophant in the reverse position. So for a lot of you, you're dealing with this energy in a work situation in which um, you're trying to establish yourself and you're trying to establish um, your domain and um, even your credibility, your worthiness, your, um, your capabilities in a work situation. A lot of you might be trying to like reassert yourself or even like um, to get people to come around to to see how well you're able to perform your job. Okay, so this is purely in a work situation. So what's on, uh, as your crowning energy, I do have the Empress in the upright position. So the Empress is the alter ego, the female alter ego of the Emperor. This is um, a very matriarchal, um, I guess, environment that you're working under, is what I'm sensing. Whatever work situation, whatever environment that you're thriving under, I do feel that a lot of you might have um, a female boss, a female supervisor, or somebody that... Um, you are possibly trying to appease. The thing is, she is in the upright position, so I don't feel there are going to be troubles associated with this um, potentially like feminine energy. And um, it's not going to be problematic for you to prove your worth in this type of work situation, okay? But um, in the environment that you're not aware of here is the Ten of Wands, which is... Um, a lot of you are going to be shouldering the burden, okay? So um, what I'm sensing here is that um, if there has been a lapse of judgment in the past regarding how to carry out work, how to be professional, how to like um, detach yourself and be completely platonic with other people in a work environment, I do feel that you're kind of like um, back to square one in terms of establishing your credibility, your worth in a work situation, okay? And um, as a result of it, I do feel a lot of you are kind of like overcompensating. I do sense that other people respect you and they actually really enjoy your company, but at the same time, your expertise. They know more than anything that you are capable of it, okay? And because you're capable of it, there might be a little bit more responsibilities kind of thrust upon you that you haven't anticipated. So for this week, I do feel a little bit of a kinetic, um, an energetic, but also like quite a busy atmosphere or a lot of obligations that you're going to have to wrap up in a timely manner. So at the same time, um, the theme here or the advice coming through is the temperance card, which is a card of um, endurance. It's a card of patience. It's also the card of balancing your public and private life, okay? So one of the dangers that I am getting here is that um, for a lot of you, in the past situation, you might have dealt with somebody who's very like um, possibly a fire sign possibly a fire sign, somebody who's very gregarious, friendly, and, um, you know, easygoing. And you might have divulged a little bit too much of your personal information. And as a result, the other person turned out to be more of a gossip than you would like. So your business is kind of like, you know, exposed, or your your business is starting, your, your personal business in the private realm is starting to, like, um, the news of it is spreading in the work situation or spreading amongst the social circle and you didn't anticipate that you know this would come back and haunt you but i do feel that um there is a little bit of separation between your public and personal identity that is going to be um required of you in order for you to re-establish your credibility on the work front so that's something that is coming through at the same time for your external environment, we do have the Ace of Cups, which is indicative of somebody who is very enthralled by you, who's very fascinated by the things that you do and the person that you are, all right? 
So I do feel in a work environment, if you are at all dealing with like a Taurus, a Taurus or um, possibly like um, an earth sign, I do sense that there is fascination, mutual fascination, I, I do believe, coming from a, an earth sign to your current situation right now. Like you might be very thrilled with an earth sign, okay? And um, this person is actually pretty like um, fascinated by your, based on, you know, the, the, the rumors or even like the story circulating around the office. I do sense that in the work atmosphere, there might be another person that is quite fascinated by your life experiences, by what you you uh, stand for, by um, how much, I guess, how much you have endured in your social interactions, in your life experiences. And this person wants to get to know you, all right? So there's a little bit of uh, admiration, fascination coming through as well. As for your hopes and fears here, we do have the um, nine of coins. If you remember the traditional tarot, it is um, a woman in a garden. She's fascinated by a, by a bird and, you know, behind her are like all these pentacles kind of growing on the vines. In this situation, I do feel that there is going to be like a restoration of the peace, harmony, and also um, productivity on the work front. So I wouldn't say you have to worry about it or anything like that. I do feel because we have the strength card in the reverse position, the strength card in the reverse position, if you are dealing with a fire sign in any type of interpersonal relationship type of setting, I do feel that um, a little bit of patience and a little bit of um, understanding but also forgiveness is going to be required of you for this other fire sign that might be problematic by, um, you know, who is stirring trouble or who is spreading gossip and false rumors in your work situation. I do feel that somebody is fascinated by you and um, others are getting like a win of this and they there's jealousy going through um, going on in your work situation okay so altogether not a uh, an entirely like um, upsetting week but I do I feel that it is more annoying than anything but it doesn't feel to me that there are anything drastic, okay? So, for example, we don't have any financial loss. We don't have any, like, gossip or anything like that in the work front. If anything, the in information that was kind of, like, siphoned out against your will um, is actually allowing other people to know you on a more personal basis. And because of that, they are able to show their appreciation and also their... Um, their um, affection for you more than anything. So another outcome here is the six of coins, which is indicative to me in the reverse position. It is like, um, I do sense that in this situation, you have to like uh, fight it alone in order to restore your credibility, in order to, um, to appease or even like, uh, help settle the 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 work situation or stabilize the work situation so that it doesn't affect you okay additionally we have the star card which is like the ultimate wish card okay so whatever condition it is i do feel that okay overall there are like unwanted information that is getting out into the public sphere that you'd rather keep private so if this is something that you're dealing with i do feel by the end of the week that information itself is going to lay dormant and you can go back to, um, you know, maintain you, maintaining either your anonymity. But in the process, I do feel somebody is fascinated with you. So if you want to proceed ahead um, with the workplace romance and things like that, I do feel that it is wise to wait for a little bit, um, like a period of a few months, like until next month, especially like around um, early August is going to be in order, okay? So wait until like a, a period of a month or when the sun sign is in the constellation of Leo in the late degrees in order to pursue any type of a inter-office romance or any, you know, like even like meeting somebody casually for drinks who might be associated or might, who might be linked in your work environment, okay? There is a sense of intrigue, fascination in the work situation. However, there might be, um, I wouldn't say gossip, there might be information circling about, somebody's being nosy and like stirring up the pot, 
and there might be like um, unwarranted types of you know information false information too I would say with the moon in the upright position um, that is circling around in your mist okay so for a lot of you who might be um, dealing with this situation first of all let me know how this goes for you but I do feel that um, it's not at all a troublesome week okay it is not at all and more than anything you have an, in, a, an external source coming through who is very fascinated by you and who is um, probably going to step to the fore and own up to his or her feelings about about you so more like a declaration of love but it's not going to be like a major grand gesture because this person is innately very delicate and because I feel like it is linked to your work situation the person is not going to overstep his or her boundaries in order to give you this declaration of love so if that's somebody that you're romantically interested in it has a lot of potential okay but I do want you to approach it with caution mainly because this person is in your work environment so be careful about that alright